Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we will be talking about uh, AWX workflow approvals. So in our last video, we talked about how to create a workflow, but there's actually an option in, in workflows that you can actually set approvals where essentially someone has to approve before it moves on to the next step in the workflow. Um, this is a very good use case. For example, say you want to like do deployments or do something very specific where you need someone to intervene for like QA testing or whatnot, and then say, hey, this is good to go to like prod. So like you want to deploy something to like, you know, your dev environment, someone approves and then deploys to prod. So like that's one way, one use case you can use workflow approvals. There's also a multiple, you know, different ways you can use it too. Um, but we're going to kind of go with that example here in this video, but you can essentially set up however you want, let whoever you want to approve it. So this video is also sponsored by me, myself and I. So if you enjoy the video, want to sponsor me or send me some free swagger hardware, my email is in the description below. So let's get started guys. All right, so in our last video, we created our workflow one. So we'll, we'll create another workflow just to kind of show you um, just how you can add it and how it would work. So we'll just go th by this quickly. We'll name it workflow two, default, and inventory. Um, host name, set this prompt on launch, and we will create this. So we'll click start. Um, we'll do the setup new server. We leave that as that. Good. Now, from here, so say for example, like this was like deployed to dev, or like, you know, we're going to set up our new server and we need to make sure, you know, someone goes checks the server, make sure it's all good or something, and then can improve that it's, it's, it's set up. So, what we can do is on success, we will actually change the node type up here to uh, approval, and then we can name approve server setup. And then we will set like the timeout, I don't know, like 30 minutes. Um, the timeout is just uh, kind of up to you for like how long should this take before someone approves it and, and looks at it or whatnot. Um, and if it's not approved, it will time out essentially and then not not do anything. So what we have here, so we'll have to set up new server, we'll need someone to approve it. And then after it's approved, we will essentially, you know, let, let it finish what it needs to do. So like on success, um, it'll run to the next playbook. You can also set on failure. So when it doesn't get approved or gets denied, it can do something else. But in this case, we're going to just pretend it's going to be on success and then we'll patch it. Right? So we'll save this and continue on. So now we can hit launch. So we will launch and next cloud and hit next. So now the workflow will essentially run. It'll go through, try to set up the new server here. Um, I think this took like 11 seconds the last time I ran this. So um, it should only take a few seconds here. And then once it finishes, it goes and succeeds. It will go to the approval set, uh, server setup, which you can see now we got a pending approval notification up here that you can see. And if you want to see in views workflow approval, so you can see over here that you can approve it. So you can take a look at it. You can take a look at what the workflow is. You can cancel it, approve or deny it. You can see the expiration date is set for 30 minutes after, um, well, 30 minutes once this approval got set. Um, so from here, you can review the workflow job, see what, what the job is, what, what you're looking at. And you can see, still see that the workflow is running, but this is paused right here because it's waiting for the approval. So what we'll do is go to the approval, hit approve, and then we can go back to the workflow. So now you can see that it approved on success. It will now do the patching. So this is just a really easy, nice use case to be able to, you know, get some QA testing, get something that you know you need manual intervention for and someone that needs to sign off before it finishes doing whatever you want in your workflow. Um, so very super easy, set up your workflow, add the approvals and someone and you'll you'll just need someone to that person to approve, right? Um, nothing too too difficult. So, um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.